What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to color correct your footage. So the whole reason why I made this video is simply because you've got two ways to adjust your video. The first way is using color correction and the second way is using color grading. Color correction means that you're adjusting minor things like the exposure like you're seeing right now or adjusting contrast like you're seeing right now or adjusting the saturation as you can see right now. If you talk about color grading, it will allow you to make a creative image or a creative photo or film or whatever. So the past few weeks, I made a couple of videos about color grading your images, color grading it like the matrix, color grading it like Mad Max, color grading it like Schindler's List. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like those tutorials, by the way, because I'd love to hear it. And if you do, I will make more of them. And if you don't, I will quit doing those. So in this week, I'm going to show you guys how to color correct a photo. And in the next episode, which will be on Sunday or Thursday, I'll show you guys a color grading video in which I will color grade a photo for you guys. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys after the tutorial. This is the image that we're going to work with today. Let me show you guys how the end result will look. I'm going to step 15 and this is the final result. So this is after I added a couple of modules. So let me go back to the original and let me hit the compress history stack. And now everything that I've done above is gone. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to do some basic stuff. So I'm going to start with the crop and rotate. I've put all the modules that we're going to use in my favorites. If you don't see them over here, please go to more modules and then find them in the list down below. So let me close it down. Or you can go to the group menus and you will find the several modules there as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the crop and rotate. And make sure this is on freehand if you want to have your own creative touch to this image because you can pick an aspect ratio which means that everything will be set in stone but i like to freehand for this image so let me move it around a little bit and now let's decrease it from the side a little bit there we go maybe move it just a tad and now what i want to change is i want to change the exposure uh, so i'm going to open up the exposure module and let's go to 0.5 now the image is a lot more brighter. It still looks a little bit dull, so I'm going to change the black level as well by scrolling the mouse wheel button away from me. And now the blacks will be a lot more black. And now what I want to do is I want to go to the tone curve module. I want to lift this area a little bit. So let me use the color picker. Let's place it on the tank to see where it's at. It's over here, so let's make a point and then drag it up a little bit. Increase the brightness of the image going to drop this down just a little bit there you go to make sure that I'm not clipping any highlights so let me close down the tone curve module and now what we're going to do is we're going to add some contrast and we are going to add some saturation so for this image I'm going to use 0.15 for the contrast and I'm going to add 0.15 for the saturation and now let me show you a before and after so we're going back to the original and this is how the original image looks and now let's go to the last edited version which is this so it's a lot more vibrant already the colors are a lot stronger it's less noisy and the framing is better so what i need to do right now is i want to demosaic it as well but i'm not going to use the ppg i'm going to use the amaze because i think that works pretty good with the panasonic gh5 and i want to use the lens correction you can use the lens correction at the start but I'm going to use it right now. So I'm going to pick the lens that I've shot this with, which is the Leica 12 to 60. And now the perspective has changed just a little bit. And I still think it looks a bit soft. So for that, I'm going to use the sharper module. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to put the radius on three. I'm not going to leave it on two. And watch what happens to the image. There we go. Now it's a bit stronger. Let's put the amount on one. Now the image is a lot more sharper than it was before. And I want to change the white balance as well. So I'm going to open that one up. I'm going to use the spot, which is over here. 
you've got three choices and then drag this all the way i already did this but drag it over the entire image to see how that looks but try to find the widest spot or the spot that should be wide in the image and then select that. And I want to add some contrast. So I'm going to activate the local contrast module. And I want to make the colors pop a little bit. So I'm going to activate the Velvia module. But I'm going to activate the Vibrance module as well. And for the Vibrance, I'm going to place it on 50%. And the same goes for the Velvia one. I'm going to place that on 50% as well. Just to make sure that the image stands out a little bit more. And now the image stands out a lot more. I do think it still looks a bit noisy. So we're going to adjust that by using the denoise module. Going to leave the words as is, but I'm just going to activate it and then watch what happens to the image. And that did a fantastic job. It made the image a little bit softer, but we counteract that with the uh, sharpen module. And this is how it looks. Now, let me show you guys the original. Here's the original image before we started to apply a color correction. And now let's select the last step, which is the denoise step. And this is how it looks after I've just did some color correction. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!